Hi guys, you're all welcome to my channel today. Thank you all so much for tuning in. In today's video, I'm going to be doing 5 DIY home decor using a picture frame. So if you're interested in knowing how you can achieve all this, stay tuned and let's jump right into the video. So guys, for the first DIY, I'm using this frame that I got from Jokes, this bucket from Stravida Hearse. I don't know if this is a UK brand store or U Ukraine brand store, but it's in Ukraine and a pair of scissors. So first of all, I open up the frame. Actually, this is for people that, you know, you're obsessed with a brand and you want to have all their things in, the, in your house, including what their pocket looks like. So and I actually love the logo of the store. It's very beautiful, so that's why I so used it. I tried to position the uh, pack to the size of the frame, how I want it to be. I also chose the side that I wanted, and then I went ahead to cut, cut it off, uh, shaped it the way I wanted it. Your cutting can, you know, maybe precise or really not very precise mine it's not but who cares it's still gonna look beautiful <laughs> but the more precise you are with your cotton the better your whatever it's gonna be so afterwards i opened up the frame i inserted my cut out the way i wanted it to look and then i turned the uh, the paper that was supposed to be in the frame i turned it the other way around so i'll have only the white pattern displayed and i closed it up so that was it and <laughs> and then i had something beautiful like this guys this is very nice i also tried to do it with the packet of zara because I love that style. It screams classy to me. For the second DIY, guys, I'm using this frame from Epicenter A4 paper and a marker. What I did basically was I took the A4 paper. Okay, first of all, I opened up the frame. And then I took an A4 paper. I did a sketch of my palm. But guys, you can do whatever you want. If you can draw, then good for you. Draw whatever you want. Write whatever you write. You want to write, and put it in the frame. So, I did a sketch or a drawing, whatever it is I'm doing now, <laughs> of my palm. And basically, I wrote, "Love me," because I love me, <laughs> amen. And I did a hashtag of Zoba, my name just to you know because i'm extra <laughs> positioned it in the frame and then i closed it up guys you can basically do whatever you want this is what it looks like and i also did some more i've already displayed this in my apartmental video so if you haven't seen that video definitely go check it out because I'm gonna be leaving a link in the description. For the third DIY, I'm using a piece of material, a frame from jokes and a pair of scissors. You already know the drill, we open up the frame. Guys, for this, the material you're using, just a piece, it could be anything, it could be just a piece of your clothing, or a scarf, so long as you love the pattern, on the material then it's good to go then i try to figure out the part that i wanted displayed on the frame it's just the piece you don't want to cover up the whole frame area for me the beauty of a frame is when i can still see some white part not the whole display covering up the whole frame area i just want to see some white part of the frame and then the display whatever that has been displayed it makes it really very beautiful to me 
and then I tried to figure that out positioned it the way I wanted it to be and then I went ahead to cut it up the way I wanted it you already know if your cutting is precise you're going to have a better end product but if it's unprecise as mine then who cares just work with whatever you've got if it's good to you then it's definitely gonna be good to everyone not everyone <laughs> well who cares so i went ahead to cut it out positioned it in the frame how i wanted it to be and yeah I close it up. I love this frames from Jokes. Closing and opening them is very easy. I also try to do the second one on another material. So this is what I have. So guys, for this spot look, what I use basically is the frame again. And any random plant or grass that you like the shape. And then the scissors. Opened up the frame. Inserted the grass the way I wanted it shaped it and cut off the SSS, closed it back again and uh, yeah that was it i'm sure that right now you already know the drill you can basically insert anything you want into your picture frame it doesn't necessarily have to be your picture for the second one i love those that frame the golden one and <laughs> i basically love everything <laughs> And yeah, I love the grass shape as well. Looks like I don't know what to call it. I put it in there again, closed it up, you know, try to size it and make sure it's in the particular shape that I wanted it to be. That was that was it. And then closed it up. And yeah, as extra as I am. I decided to do the third one but with the leaves of the the grass I don't know if that's a plant I actually think it's just the grass <laughs> so I just arranged it the way I wanted it to be as usual and uh, yeah I closed it up yeah again that was proving difficult to close but I did it so that's the result for the last DIY I'm using the frame again some of my jewelry a marker uh, just hanging stuff with common strips from epicenter random bow and some glue again I opened it up for this time around I took off the glass in the frame placed back the paper positioned it properly and closed it back up guys for the bow is very very optional i'm not even sure i'm going to be using it like in real life just on it show people what you could do and then i went ahead to glue down the bow to the frame positioned it where i wanted it to be and i glued it down yeah and yeah i wrote whatever i wanted to write that was just what was on my mind i'm a god lover and yeah i love to say it out loud i'm a god lover <laughs> yeah guys just so you can actually think of the bone you know write anything you want just get creative and do whatever you want this is just an idea not what you should do typically so I took off the hooks and the command strips on it and yeah, I glued it down to the frame, positioned it where I wanted it to be. Actually, this can be used as a jewelry holder or key holder, anything holder, anything you just want to hold in a fancy way. So that was it, glued it down. What I did, I put off some of my jewelry. I didn't know that was in, not even on the camera. Yeah, so. And this is what most of them look like hanging on the wall. And yeah, I actually think they are very beautiful. 
though I'm not going to be hanging them like this because <laughs> I can't have everything going on at the same time. No. So that's it. This is all the frames all together, guys. I really think this is very, very beautiful. But let me know what you think and let me know which was your favorite. This is how I'm going to display most of it in my apartment. I think it's very beautiful. I really, really hope this was very useful to someone. Let me know which video you're going to be trying out. And don't forget to like this video if you really, really do. Comment, subscribe to my channel. And I will see you all in my next video. Thank you so much, guys. Bye.